Hi guys, it's Debbie from What's Mama Cooking For Us. And welcome to my kitchen. And today I'm making some chicken and broccoli. And I'm gonna make mine a little spicy. All right, so let's go over the ingredients. It's very simple. I got a head of broccoli. And normally I've never seen water chestnuts in chicken and broccoli, but I'm gonna put some in mine anyway. And then here's my chicken, all prepped in advance. I'm gonna put in a clip in a second to show you how I did that. And that's two, two and a half chicken breasts. And you need a cup of chicken broth, homemade or store-bought. You need garlic and ginger, but I don't have the ginger, so I just kind of went heavy on my garlic. <laughs> a table, so that was three cloves. If you have the ginger, do it like a, like a clove or, well, not a clove, they're not called cloves. They say like a thumbnail size, but you know, do about a tablespoon. And um, so you need a tablespoon of brown sugar, a quarter cup of um, soy sauce, and here's the water chestnuts. They're just sliced water, water chestnuts, and I drained them and rinsed them completely. So, um, and then we'll need some cornstarch at the end and some pepper. Um, so that's all the ingredients and it's really simple. Now I'm going to stick in that clip about how I did the chicken. All right, guys, this is the chicken. What I, this is just one breast. You won't believe how big this one breast is. This is the half. This is the other half that I've already started cutting. See, I'm just cutting them in very thin slices. I'm taking it and doing it on like a diagonal and, you know, getting thin slices like, you know, about this size. And then I'm just going to put them in this container and they'll be all set for my recipe. And I, if I want to do it up now, which I am, I'm good to go put it right in the fridge. Or if I wanted to freeze this, put it in a, you know, freezer container, put it in the freezer and then you have it for whenever you're ready to make it. And this way, um, I only had to do this mess with this chicken once, but I did two different recipes. Okay, and so you can go over and check out my chicken cutlet vi video. They came out so good. And the next day I made them with some um, pasta. I just cut them up into chunks and put it into some pasta with garlic and oil. Oh my God, it was so good. But anyway, um, here's how you do the sauce. The one cup of um, chicken broth, your quarter cup of soy sauce, a tablespoon of the brown sugar. Did it all come out? <laughs> and our garlic. And just put all that in there. Some pepper. Gotta be careful, these whole are huge. <laughs> and that's it. And you can just set this to the side. And then I'm gonna put some oil in my pan and we're gonna fry up the chicken. Now some people take their chicken and they put cornstarch, egg, and they mix it up like that but i don't like the softness that's i think they do that to soften the chicken or tender the chicken but i don't like that so i leave that stuff out but if you want it to take the chicken one egg and some cornstarch and just um mix that all up and let it marinate for a bit for you know a few minutes and then at the end to make the slurry that we're going to put in it's one ta it's two tablespoons of cornstarch and two tablespoons of water. It's an equal amount we're going to use to um, uh, make the slurry to thicken up your dish. All right, I got my heat on medium high. So we want to get it good and hot, and it's not a lot of oil, a couple tablespoons, not very much at all. And just put your chicken in. Okay. <laughs> And we're just gonna cook this up until it's done cooking. And that's it, it's simple and easy as that. No more instructions needed. <laughs> this is so easy, basically preparing it, it's just the toughest part. Uh, prepping it, preparing, prepping, is it the same thing? <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna let that go and I'll be back when it's um, done. All right, well, they've been cooking about two minutes. You don't really have to fuss with them much. Just make sure they're, you know, all touching the bottom of the pan or try to get them all so they're laid out flat. And um, I'm just going to give them a couple more minutes and then we'll um, finish it up. Okay, while it's cooking, I got the slurry here. I'm just using two tablespoons of water. 
And we're going to use two tablespoons, level tablespoons of cornstarch. You don't want to go heavy on that cornstarch because it'll make it too thick, but you don't want to go too light. It'll be too thin. So just levels. Yeah, I think I had a little extra in that one. <laughs> but yeah, just be careful because it can. So then just mix that up until it turns into a kind of like a, they call it a slurry. And then now that's all set to go and we'll use that towards the end. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. So I'm just going to give it all a mix, a stir, and then just let it get a little, you know, doesn't have to get, you know, brown on it, but just let it cook until you think it's done. Probably another good four, three to four minutes. I'll time it and let you know exactly how long it took. And the more you cook, the more it might take, the more chicken you cook, the longer it may take to cook. But like I said, I think this is about two, two chicken breasts, even though that said one or was one, but it looked like two to me because it was huge. All right, guys, it's, it's been about another five, six minutes, and it's just it's how I want it now. And I'm going to add in our broccoli. And I love my broccoli pretty big. You can chop them smaller. Some people only like that little tiny head, but I do like the stems, and there's lots of nutrients in the stems. So now I'll just cook these for about a minute or two, and then I'll be back. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is smelling, looking so good. So I just cooked the broccoli about two minutes. And um, it's going to cook longer during the, the next process. And then you just want to put in your sauce. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And then that's going to clean off the bottom of our pan and get all those good juices. And earlier when I said about the... <laughs> The ginger, I meant a thumb size of a ginger, so it's it's about a tablespoon. So I hope I didn't get you guys messed up on that. And now I'm going to add in those water chestnuts. I don't know how many I'm going to add. And I, I usually do this with three chicken breasts. I just didn't have enough this time. And the one I, the one I did have was so big, it, it's like two. But it does need a little bit more meat, so but it's up to you guys. Now put a cover over it and let this cook for a few more minutes. All right, guys, it's been three minutes with the cover on. And this is my slurry. So you can see, you just put that in. And we just want that to thicken it up. Now here's where I'm gonna put my hot peppers in. Now you don't have to do that if you don't want. I buy these hot peppers, I'm almost out. <laughs> In the, in the, there's like the dried peppers, and I just break them up and put them in, or leave them in whole. But if not, just use your regular hot pepper flakes, same thing, pretty much. But I like to see the, the big um, piece in there. So now we're just going to let this cook for a couple more minutes, and we'll be all ready to eat. And I got rice cooked, and get your rice ready. Okay, guys, we're all finished. I gave it a tiny taste. It tastes so good. And I got some brown rice. Normally I would rather have white rice and that's what's normally served. But all I had was brown, so that'll do. And I doctored mine up and I have a, a recipe on here on how I doctor up plain brown rice, make it taste a lot better. So look at that, you guys. That looks delicious. I don't like a lot of extra sauce on mine, but there's extra sauce in the pan if anyone wants to um i'm trying to get a cup of walnut chestnuts so it looks pretty and i like to put a little green onion in the top and another hot pepper for me <laughs> and i got my um orange lemon and lime water that i'm drinking so good for you so healthy and um let me get my um little thumbnail picture and i'll be right back Okay, you guys ready to go in for a bite? Oh, look at this. Mm. Let's get a little rice. A piece of broccoli and some chicken. Okay, yeah, I'm not taking that big bite, but look at that, you guys. Let's go in there and look. Look how delicious. 
And like I said, you can add some extra sauce to put on yours. I'm just going to take a little bite of this, guys. Mmm. Oh, so good. Nice and fresh. Mmm. I think you guys are going to love it. And uh, I hope you give this a try. I hope if you're new, you subscribe. And if you like this video, show me some love. And, uh, yeah, let's go in there and just look at how good that looks. Let's see. Yeah, it looks better with the white rice and prettier, but it's all right. Look at that chicken. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me today. I got to go eat this. It's so delicious. Um, stay tuned for more, and I'll see you on the next one. And be blessed.